Welcome to Clueless Realtor, where we help realtors succeed. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a real estate brochure using our favorite graphic design tool, Canva. All brochure templates on Canva are completely customizable and simple to create. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video to see how easy it is to create a real estate brochure. Also, if this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, then consider subscribing today and hit the notification bell so you can be the first notified of any new videos that we post. Now, let's have my wife, Nancy, take it over from here. All right, so here we are on Canva.com and we are actually using the Canva Pro in case if it does look a little bit different from your end. If you would like to try Canva Pro, you could do so. I will leave our referral link right below this video. You could try them out for 30 days. As a realtor, um, I do recommend it because it has so many features that you could use for your business. So make sure that you check it out at least for the 30 days and then decide from there. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how simple it is to create real estate brochures. And this is great because if you don't have the budget right now to pay someone else to do it, or maybe you are paying someone, but they're not doing it the way that you want it to be, then you could do so by using Canva. It's a very simple process. And you could also either have it printed at your local printing service, or you could have Canva printed for you. It really depends on which way you want to go. So the first thing you want to do is log in into canva.com. And if you type in right here, design anything, just type in real estate brochures and a list is going to come up for you. So here we go. Real estate brochures. They are in U U.S. letter size, which is like standard printing size. And these are all the examples that you could use from. Keep in mind, all of these brochures are customizable. You could change the colors. You could change the font. You could add your logo, you could add your photo, you could add obviously photos of the property and much more. So you can make it into anything that you want. And these are all the different designs that they currently have. So if you see one that speaks to you, one that you say, oh, I kind of like this one, then I suggest just to click on it and play with it and see um, if that's the one that you want to proceed with or if you want to just go ahead and create one from scratch by clicking on the blank template. It's really up to you. But let's go ahead and click on one of these so I could show you how easy it is when you do it through Canva. So I like this one. It kind of goes with Cornelia's branding with the black and gold so or kind of yellowish tone. So let's click on that one. And as you can see, all of this, like I just mentioned, you could edit. So, and they have some additional ones here. So I guess this is the one of the brochures and this is another brochure that goes with this particular brochure um, so which is really nice this is a tri-fold brochure so obviously you will fold it three times and let's say you wanted to put the property image right here so what you could do is just manually upload that picture to canva for the sake of this video i'm just going to use an example from canva's photos just to kind of show you so i'm just going to look for homes and let's say I wanted to use, um, let me look for a house, this house right here. So all I'm gonna do pretty much is drag the image over here. You see how simple that was? And if I need to move the image around because maybe it's getting cut off like this one is, just double click on the photo and then just drag it. Once you're happy where it's at, go ahead and click on done up here on the left corner. And there you go, you have the house up there. And if you wanna change this, um, this is just an overlay, you see, um, of on top of that. So you could pretty much change this to anything you want. So let's say I wanna do this house here. I'm gonna drag it, boom. And I'm gonna double click on it. And I'm showing now the, the living room, right? So let's say I could do this one here. I kinda of like it right there with a little bit of the window. I'm gonna press done. I think that looks pretty good. That shows a little bit of the, the living room. And then if I wanted to add logos, I'll just go to upload. We have Cornelia's logo in here somewhere with all of my stuff as well. So let's go ahead and find this logo. 
let's say I wanted to use this one here all I need to do is just put it right here and then I could just get rid of this or just of the house and just leave the contact information there. I think this looks pretty good. And you could change the color, like we said earlier. You could make this white if you wanted to. I kind of like it white, but obviously we could play around with Cornelia's branding colors. These are his colors here. Um, I want to say because of the logo, it probably looks better in white. But obviously you could have variations of your logo, different colors as well. And then here you would just put your information. So you would type in your phone, your address, whatever you're comfortable giving out. I would recommend obviously your broker's address, um, not your personal address, um, or your own office if you have one, um, all your details. And then here you would change this to your name. Let's say Cornelius owns some real estate company called Clueless Realtor. We'll just, we'll just name it that way for now for this video. You could just put that there. And look at how cool this is. I mean, it's, it's coming out pretty good, I feel. You could change this around, put whatever you want. And then down here, you could get more tech, more, um, not technical, but add more verbatim of the actual property if you wanted to. And keep in mind, you don't have to print both of these. You could just use the top one if you wanted to. But I think this is the, this is the, the front of it, and then this is the inside of it. So that's why you see two of them here. And you would do the same here. You would just add the images. Um, it's very simple. Just once you upload that image, you just drag and drop, as you can see. Um, it's not that complicated. Um, it'll be an easy process for you guys to do, as you can see how I'm doing it. You would change all of this information. And once you're happy with your final results, you check your spelling, you make sure everything looks good before you print it out. Um, you have the option right here to click on print trifolds. And Canva gives you the option that they will print it out for you. I have done printing with them and they do a remarkable job. So if you worry about that, I wouldn't be so worried. You could do single-sided or double-sided, as you can see here. So you will have to pick this one or this one. And it shows you the cost. So if you do 25 copies, it's only $24. If you do 50 copies, it's only $32. And if you do 100 copies, it's $48. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to do it with Canva. This is just an option that you have. You could easily just download the file through by clicking on the three dots, download it, and then save this on a PDF, you know, on a thumb drive, excuse me. You save it in a thumb drive, and you could either go ahead and take it to your local printing company, and they'll do it for you, or you could go online to Kinko's and upload the file yourself and then go pick it up in person or have them ship it to your home, depending on what you prefer. But this is how simple it is to create professional real estate brochures. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching.